Okay, so let's get ready to begin. We'll start off with our warm as usual. Okay, so we're just gonna be marching on the spot, so just moving any way you want. Uh, as long as you get your blood flowing a little bit more. Okay, and also try to keep your shoulders relaxed and just have a tall posture in general. Okay, just keep watching and let more people in. Okay, and let's move our joints as we usually do, starting with the neck and the spine. So just kind of looking down, breathing out, okay, and breathing in, chest up, looking up slightly, Okay, just gently go back and forth. Avoid any areas if it is painful. Okay, and go somewhere in the middle, standing nice and tall. Okay, looking left and right. Turning your shoulders a little bit as well. Keep your feet moving if you if you're able to. And just exaggerate a little bit by swinging the arms around as well. Reaching up, breathing in. Okay, just alternating between the two sides, pressing up to the ceiling. Excuse me. A deep breath in as you press up. Okay, and just both arms up. Okay, and as you breathe out, try to reach back. You have your thumbs pointing backwards on the way up. Okay, and also the thumb backwards as you reach back as well. Okay, and elbows up a little bit. Okay, let's go in a circle. Try to bring your elbows a little bit closer together. Slightly to my year level. Outside again. You just three to five times per direction. Relaxing the shoulders afterwards. If it's pretty sore, you can massage yourself. Or tap it a few times. Okay, let's rotate the elbows and the arm as well. So elbow stays in place. You just bring your arms, uh, your hands further out, coming in. Opposite, elbows a little higher, reaching into the armpits. Whole arm rotates. Wrist rotates a few more times. Change direction. Open and closing the hand. Open and closing the fingers, tips, including the thumb. Okay, open and closing side to side. Okay, check it out. Okay, and let's go to the hips. Okay, just go into hip circle. You try to slowly uh, move in a bigger circle, relaxing the upper body. Switch direction if you want to. Hold on to a chair if you need to. Okay, let's practice a hip hinge. Okay, so hands on the thighs. 
Okay, you're just pushing your butt back, uh, your shin or your lower leg point straight up. You're just pushing your hips back while keeping it back nice and long. Okay, we're going to practice uh, the squatting, so toes, uh, feet maybe shoulder width apart, toes pointing out maybe slightly more than before. So same idea, still pushing your butt back, okay, but this time the knee bend a little bit more, so you're sitting on a tall stool. Okay, so your shin or your knee goes forward a little bit, a little bit more than before. Okay, but you're still bending in the hips, but you just feel more effort in the front of the thighs. Okay, I'm gonna sit on the stool that's slightly off to one side. Okay, so it's still a very tall chair, so you don't, uh, don't bend the knees too much. But you're sitting slightly side to side. Okay, we're gonna exaggerate it by bringing our feet a little bit wider apart. Okay, so same idea, we're still pushing our hips back, okay, but we're shifting over a little bit more this time, feeling a little bit more stretch in the inside of your legs. Okay, a little bit of a, uh, on, the, on the straight leg. Okay, feet are still flat on the ground. You're still pushing your butt back. Okay, adjust the difficulty by how wide your feet are. Okay, coming back, we're gonna have one foot forward, one foot back. Uh, widening your stance for balance, turning your out, toes out for balance. Okay, we're gonna breathe in, pressing your hips forward. Okay, reaching over the same side arm. So this is my right arm uh, up and right leg back. Okay, hold on to something if you need to. Okay, so I'm pressing the right side of my body forward. So I'm just gonna use a chair, so just so I can focus more on Push, getting my hips forward, getting my wrists forward, instead of worrying about balance. Keep deep breath in as you reach. And the same thing on the other side. Go as slow as you need to. And just alternating, bending our knees. Okay, practice the balance a little bit, see if you can hold it at the end for just a little bit longer to your own ability. Okay, try to squeeze a $100 bill behind your knees. So engage the back of the leg a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to use the calf muscles a little bit and the shin muscles. Okay, just rocking back and forth first. If you feel comfortable, see if you pull your toes up, push your heels up. A little bit side to side. So lift the same side, so the right side of both feet up, and then the, maybe the left side. You just a small motion. Okay, and toes, and you wiggle your toes a little bit, lift your toes up, play the piano on your toes. Okay, and we're going to things at the same time. Okay, good. So let's grab our band. Uh, so the ones we're doing today, we can be. Um, so the upper body, we can, you can do it sitting down, you can do it standing up, up to you. Uh, we're gonna work on this a little bit smaller muscles. So we're gonna work on the muscles that bring our shoulders back, okay, and also the muscles that bring our shoulders forward. Okay, so let's start off the back muscles in the back. So that's important for posture. So we want to be chest up and shoulders back a little bit. So anytime we pull, uh, we also want to protect the shoulders. So and sometimes when you see people pull, into something like in this position because they're rounded. Uh, so that's kind of a little bit harder on the shoulders. You really want to pull with your shoulders set. So when you work on the muscles kind of in between the shoulder blades. 
Okay, I'm going to price view a little bit up top here as well. Okay, so we're going to start off with uh, the band. You can wrap it around your hands. Uh, roughly, kind of maybe armpit with a part. Okay, so it's a bit too long. So roughly armpit width, uh, kind of just depending on how uh, thick your band is. Okay, uh, but focus your attention on your shoulder blade. Okay, so you want the motion we're working on is squeezing our shoulder blades together. Okay, so it cuts a bunch of muscles here, they bring your shoulders back. Okay, so we're gonna work, we're gonna have the shoulder width apart, and we're gonna pull it apart. Okay, but when we're pulling, we're not so much focusing on the shoulders or the arms, we're focusing on the shoulder blades coming back. Okay, so you might have to play around for a few times, see if you can see if you can squeeze the shoulder blades together. Okay, and so that can go. Okay, so this one, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more. So let's aim for about 10 to 20 times. Keep me breathing in as you pull. You're gonna feel it in your shoulders as well. Um, so you do have to use the shoulder muscles, but see if you can, instead of just pulling a part of your hands and your shoulders this way, see if you can squeeze your shoulder blades back a little bit as well. Okay, so this one, let me take some getting used to. So today we're gonna do about maybe one second out, um, and most half a second hold, okay, and then one second back. You're gonna probably feel the most in the back of the shoulders. So let's say we're at about 18 or so. Uh, you, can, you can stop at any time. 19, let's say we're 19, 20. Yeah, so not just, uh, remember it's not just this, it's also shoulders a little bit backwards as well. Okay, so uh, let's also work on uh, smaller muscles in the leg. Okay, so we just work on the, the calf muscles. Okay, so the muscle is still in the back. So it'd be easy if you have a chair to hold on to. Uh, we are going to have one leg slightly up. Okay, so most, your weight is mostly on the straight leg. Uh, actually, I think it be easy here. On the same side. So if, uh, if you're standing on your left leg, have it, maybe you have the chair on your left side as well. So you're just going to push yourself up on your toes okay, and slowly back down. Okay, so this one you do need to do a little bit slower. Okay, so let's do the two count, two seconds up, half a second pause at the top, and then two seconds back down. Okay, so this one you can do A2. Um, let's do A for 10 to 20. So one, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. If it's too much, you can always have the other leg to help you a little bit. Four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. Actually, this one, eight to twelve might be enough because we're doing a single leg. Six, two, three, four, seven. Two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four. So I can at most do maybe five more times. So I'm just going to do one more and call it a day. Two, three, four. Okay, so back on lake, even all the way up the lake. I might feel a little bit. Let's check it out. And we're just going to repeat. On the other side. So if, if you have trouble doing it on a single leg, uh, you can also do it both legs together. So if one leg is too challenging, uh, do both, okay? But uh, still have the two counts up, two count there. Do a little more time. So maybe if you're doing both legs together, do 10 to 20 times. If you're doing single leg, just aim for about eight to 12. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat on the other side. 
So still two seconds up, pause a little bit at the top, two seconds down. Okay, so two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three. You can even play around with uh, which way holdings. It might be easier to hold it in front, but I sort of, I'm not sure I'm not blocking the view. 10, two, three, four. So at that time, drop down low too fast. 11, two, three, four, 12, two, three. So apparently I'm quite a bit strong on this side. You may find one leg is a little strong on the other, but back the uh, calves definitely be going up to the back of the thighs as well. Okay, and let's repeat the pulling one again. Okay, so adjust the difficulty. So pull the band apart, but also try to squeeze the shoulder back a little bit. Primarily, you feel it in the back of the shoulders. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Make sure you don't hold your breath as well. Three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, so 10 to 20 times, depending on how tight you have the band. 11, 2, 3, 4, 12, 2, 3, 4, 13, 2, 3, 4. So I double the band up this time. This is probably going to be my last, my last rep. You can do more if you want, you can do less. Just a little bit of tightness, a little bit of effort. Try really back of the shoulders, a little bit of move, air through the movement, shooting the shoulder blades. Okay, and when we're ready, let's repeat the same thing on the, the calf muscles. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it might be easier to chair in front of you. Uh, just depend on how, which way you feel more comfortable. Uh, so, once again, you can either do it both legs together. Okay, if this is uh, if you can't do single side, single leg, do both legs. Okay, just do it more times. Uh, you can also just do single. Okay, but remember just the two counts as well. So slowly up, pause a little bit at the top, and then slowly back down. Okay, so two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two. Three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three. Okay, and keep going if you feel comfortable. I feel like for myself, I'm done on this side. Shift things up a little bit if you need to. And when we're ready, we'll just, can we just repeat on the other side? Okay, or if you want, if you're doing both late, you can repeat one more time if you want to, you can take a break. 
uh, especially if you're new, don't push yourself too hard on the first day. So, ready? One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three. Okay, so it's stop at any point you want. Two, three, four, twelve, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm still feeling a little bit strong on this side compared to my left. Could be different for you. Okay, and once again, shaking things up. Okay, so for the next one, we're going to work on kind of similar. Okay, so instead of back of the shoulders, we're going to work on the kind of front. Uh, actually, we're going to work on a little bit of muscles here as well. Okay, so there's a bunch of like, smaller muscles here that kind of pulls the shoulder blade forward, also help to stabilize the shoulder as well. So this time, you're going to have to bend just underneath. Our armpits. So we're still going to do a normal press. Okay, so that's still uh, a normal pressing force. So we're still going to work on the front of the shoulders a little bit, a uh, little bit of the shoulder muscle here. But the only difference is at the end of the motion, so instead of stopping just here, we're going to press the shoulder a little bit more forward. Okay, so my um, arm goes straight, okay, and then my shoulder goes forward. So that tiny bit of motion forward is the one that will get the muscles around here, okay? Uh, so if you want to, you can you can give it a try first, see if you can move your shoulder with your arms straight, see if you can move your shoulders just a little bit more forward. So you can, the movement comes from the shoulder blade. So it's a tiny bit of motion at the very end, okay? So it's a press, sometimes people call it a press plus one, or a press plus. So a little bit front of the shoulders, and then the muscle group at the end. Okay, so pressing forward, one, two. Okay, see if you can press it a little more forward at the end. Okay, and then three, four, three, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, Five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten. Two, three, four, eleven, two, three, four, twelve, two, three, four. Please stop. Once again, you can stop any point. So for myself, this band is a little bit too light for this movement because I can. I'm still going. I still feel like I can do more. So next round, I might choose to use a heavier band. So hopefully you felt a little bit, a little bit of the shoulders, okay, but hopefully you felt a little bit here as well. And you really get that when you have that little bit last bit of movement, pressing your shoulders forward. Okay, so let's shake things out. Okay, so uh, then for the lower leg, we're gonna do the muscles in the front of the shin, uh, usually not as important for most people. Uh, usually, the people that use it the most are people um, 
who may have some form of stroke before, uh, they usually have trouble lifting their toes up. Uh, but in our case, it doesn't hurt to sometimes train this muscle. So this one, you can either do a seated down, uh, it might be more, com uh, more comfortable for you, or you can do it uh, standing up as well. Okay, so you're gonna just step on the middle of the band on one foot. Uh, this one do have a chair for support. Okay, and then you're just gonna step on the band with the other foot as well. Okay, so one leg is kind of wrapped by the band, the other one is just stepping on top of it. So uh, again, if you be a little closer, maybe right here. Okay, so I just have it one foot wrapped. Uh, wrap it a little bit closer to the toes. Okay, so, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just lift that, the back leg that's a little bit uh, wrapped up, a little bit higher. So this one, do you hold a chair? Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the opposite of what we did before. We're just gonna lift the toes up and you should feel the muscle in the chin. Okay, so this one, we're just gonna hold, this one, we're gonna have to hold it at the top a little long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift it in one second, hold it for two seconds, okay, and then back there. Okay, so maybe I'll bring the camera a little bit closer. See if that, that helps. Okay, so um, yeah, so maybe, sorry, give me one second. I'm gonna lower the camera a little bit more. Sorry for the shakiness. Okay, so you're gonna step on the band. So you're gonna wrap the foot on one side, step on the band on the other, and lift it up toes slightly. And what we're going to do is going to lift it up, hold it for two, one, and back down. Okay, so it'll be two, hold, okay, and down. So it'll be, I'll just say one, two, three, four. Okay, so it'll be uh, lift it in one, hold it for two and three, and drop it to back down at four. Okay, so I'll let one more person in. Okay, so it'll be one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four. Seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three, four, eleven, two, three, four, twelve, two, three. Okay, so you might feel a little bit in the front of the hips as well, uh, but primarily you should have felt it in the front of the, the shin of the lower leg. Okay, so uh, this one, is, as long as you can feel a little bit of effort, it's fine. Uh, for most people, we don't really need to use it too much, uh, unless sometimes, sometimes lifting the foot up. Uh, but generally speaking, we don't need to do this too much. Okay, so same thing on our side. So just wrap the foot up. Stepping on it on the other side. Uh, lift it up slightly. Okay, so be one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three. Four, four, two, three, four. So just on the side, maybe it looks something like six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten. Two, 
three, four, 11, two, three, four, 12, two, three, four. Okay. Coming back out. So uh, we're just going to repeat these two. Okay, so the first one, once again, is the is that forward press with a little bit more motion at the end. If you want to really just train this muscle here, you can also just not do the press okay, and just do this if you want to. If you want to play around with that, you can also do the press at the same time as well. Okay, so uh, I'm actually going to find a little bit of a heavier band myself. So it's good to have multiple bands. Uh, it's just so if you have one exercise that's too easy for, for you, uh, then you can adjust. Okay, so when we're, whenever we're ready, okay, so good posture as usual. So one, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three. Four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three, four, eleven, two, three, four, twelve, two, three, four, thirteen, two, three. Okay, so definitely for myself, a little bit better, more correct resistance. So I just, uh, and if you don't have a heavier one, if you get two lighter ones, you can also just have, maybe have two bands together. Okay, but it's good to have multiple bands. Okay, shift things off. Just whenever, whenever we're ready, we can do the just the front of the shin. Okay, so wrap the foot up, stepping on the other side. Okay, make sure you feel safe. If you don't feel comfortable, you can also uh, do a seated down. I saw well. that works, but you might have to. Um, lift a little higher, so up to you. So you can do a seated down. You can give it a try actually, so see which one you prefer. Uh, as long as you feel the muscle and muscle working, it's fine. Okay, so it'll be one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. It's just when you sit it down, you might have to, you feel the hip muscles working a lot harder this way. Three. Four. Okay, so depend on which one you want. Just okay, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. So six, one second up, hold for two, two, three, four, seven, two, four, seven, so eight, two, three, four. Nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three, four, eleven, two, three, four, twelve, two, three, four. So probably a little bit of feeling in the front of the hips as well. Um, so for most people, we uh, once in a while. Uh, people, if you have any sort of 
stroke before becomes more important because usually people with stroke have trouble lifting the hips up. So that's why you see people kind of swinging their leg out to the side. Um, so this becomes more important if you have, do you have a stroke. Okay, so if you feel like you have trouble lifting the leg up, that you might have to work on it a little bit. But for most people, we don't have to do this one too much. Okay, and when we're ready, we can just switch to the other side. If you want to make this harder, you can just lift it up a little higher as well. Okay, so one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three. Four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three. Four, ten, two, three, four, eleven, two, three, four, twelve, two, three, four, and keep going if you want to, stop if you want to. Okay, so a little bit shorter class uh, today, uh, just a review, so muscles that pull the shoulders back and muscles that kind of brings the shoulders forward. Okay, so the first one you pull the band apart, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And the second one is you press it forward and push the shoulders forward a little bit more. Okay, so that's the uh, muscles or the kind of move the shoulder blade from the back. Uh, second, the lower leg, we're just doing the calf raise, which is just the muscles in the back. So you can do it two legs together. You can do it both legs together. Uh, important thing is don't just kind of kind of hop and drop down. So this one you do need to take it a little slow up, pause a little bit, slow on the way down as well. Okay, the second one is just the hip little bit flexion. So bring the knee up, okay, and also bring the toes up. So you can just think of training to lift the leg up uh, sometimes it can help. So if sometimes if you trip, sometimes we can kind of, if you get you're quick enough, you can kind of. So let's say you trip on something, you can sometimes if you're strong enough, fast enough, you can probably clear it by lifting the leg up quickly, clear the toes by lifting it up as well. Uh, but for most people, once again, it's more important for people is uh, they have a stroke. But usually we don't have to do this too much. Okay, so uh, let's stretch it. Just stretch the muscle we use. So let's do the, uh, just the shoulder one. Okay, so that's the one where we bring um, across, kind of stretch the back a little bit as well. Okay, deep breath in and out. Try to hold it for five deep breaths. Switch sides when we're done on one side. So second one, uh, we're going to do the front of the shin, also the foot as well. Uh, it's a little more comfortable if you have something soft. Uh, but what we're going to do is you're going to hold on the chair, bring your leg back, okay, and kind of lightly drag the foot forward, or think of pressing the ankle forward as well. Okay, so if you're on high ground, it, uh, it's a little bit more painful sometimes. Uh, so easier if your shoes or you have some sort of uh, 
softer surface where you can put the back of your foot on. You probably gonna feel it more on the back of the foot more than this spot. Okay, but you can still do it if you want to. Once again, you're just kind of lightly dragging the foot forward or kind of pressing the front of the ankle towards the ground. But this one, yeah, either wear shoes to do it or have some sort of some clothing, something soft. And shaking things out. Okay, so uh, let's do the front of the chest a little bit. So keep it simple. We just have the arms behind the either the low back or just the, the pelvis. And we're just going to take a breath in while pulling the shoulders back. Uh, be careful that you're not overarching your back. So it's a shoulder that's coming backwards. Lightly press the back of your hand into your back. So we're coming back. Last one, we're just going to do the calf. Okay, kind of this use the usual one we do if you are uh, doing the, the Martian class. Uh, that's the one way I didn't have it high up on a chair, on a desk, on a wall, or the way that I prefer, uh, kind of stepping on like book or, or yoga block. As long as you can bring the toes upwards. Okay, and you're getting your hips over your foot, feeling the stretch in the back of the calves. Uh, so you can also do it on a staircase if you feel comfortable where you just have the foot on the edge and you drop in the heel there while holding on to the railings. And just switch sides whenever you're ready. practicing our deep breathing at the same time. And shaking this out. Since we have a little more time, let's just do one last one. Um, just our usual one with the top of the shoulders. Uh, this is the seated one, either where you either hold onto the bottom of the chair or you sit on your palm, and your fingers pointing inwards. Okay, and you're just pressing your shoulders down. So I'm sitting on my left side, I'm pressing my palm into the chair. This will get your wrist a little bit as well. And you're just going to lean your head to the other side. If you want to, you can add a little bit of a slight amount of pressure, but still try to press the shoulders down. Still trying to take deep breaths in and out. And 
can change the angle a little bit so you can look down and sort of forward. So we're coming back. When you're ready, we can switch to the other side. Once again, you can switch and change it where you're looking. When you're looking down, it's just feel it more on the back of the deck. So come back. Out. Okay, so a little bit shorter class uh, today. So thank you for coming, everyone. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. What? Otherwise, see everyone next time. No problem. Bye bye.